Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally getting around to doing these DIY shirt and video. So I've already done purple and let me just show you a little swatch maybe somewhere here. <laughs> you know, so that it's a little out of frame. So, oh God. So this is what this swatch looks like. So I did this about a couple of weeks back I believe and you see it, it does separate a little bit I'm not going to lie but it works amazingly. So the things that you're going to need are some empty polish bottles. I already have a video on how I clean my polish bottles which I'll link in the description box below. And then you're going to need some um, top coats clear top coats and these don't have to be uh, you know expensive ones you can just use some cheap ones they work really really well so the way to find out if it is a top coat is that this is going to be the consistency of a sugar syrup like when you drop it it's going to be a little thicker than a clear polish so that's the difference between clear polish and a top coat like let me just show you that's how much thick it should be and then you're also going to require uh, the colors that you want to sheer tint you know I'm quoting sheer tint so I am going to be using a blue which is take walkie number 50 I'm using camera France number 131 for yellow and I'm going to be using oh shit, okay so I'm going to be using VOV Tinkerbell for the green so I'm going to be using these three colors so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is, let's just open up a polish bottle first. Let me just open another one. Okay, so we're going to be opening the polish bottle and keeping the cap aside. So I'll start with a blue because blue is my favorite color. <laughs> so I'm just going to drop like four or five drops into this bottle at first. From the polish bottle itself, no dropper or anything. about four ish drops and then I'm going to be taking this clear top coat and I'm just directly dropping this right into the bottle itself you're also going to require a white sheet I'm using a white sheet for two reasons one it's a really nice background for my videos and the other thing is to swatch like I showed the purple one so I'm just going to pour this in I'm just going to close this bottle and I don't know if you guys will be able to see it's like you know separated so I'm just gonna shake up really really well and I'll be back so I shook up the bottle and that's what it looks like um, I think there's kind of a little over half um, of the bottle so I poured a, a little bit of top coat in this and so this bottle is kind of um, half gone so i can just pour another color and i'll get two different bottles of sheer tints so i'm just going to um, first swatch this on a sheet of paper to see if the intensity of color is sufficient so yeah i'm just going to take a little bit of this and swatch it on the paper like yes right here so there that is way too sheer for me so i'm going to add a couple more drops of the steak walkie blue that i just showed you so I'm going to add that, I'm going to add like maybe 5 or 6 drops more of this and some more top coat just because I want to increase the quantity of this. So I'm just going to do that and I'll be back. So this is me, my bottle after second batch and I have about 40% of the bottle filled which I think is sufficient for me because you know it's not like a regular polish that you're going to be using much often and even if it is you can just prepare it again because it's really easy so i'm just going to swatch it again like right below it there that is the uh, intensity that i want which is sufficient for me now i am happy with this bottle so i'm just going to keep aside so i have a blue one and i have a purple one um, a definite disclaimer that I would like to give is that they do get a little separated so if you have those mixing balls you can put them in or even without mixing balls actually work you can just shake up the bottle before you use it works just as well 
so now that this bottle I have used half of this bottle for the blue one so I'm just going to add a lot of drops of yellow and make my own sheer tint now so I'm going to do that off camera and I'm also going to be doing the green off camera and I will swatch all the colors on camera for you guys oh my god my hair so I'm gonna swatch them on camera for the first time with you guys so I just finished sheer tinting, if that's a word uh, for green and yellow. So I'm gonna swatch green first. I just added like five drops and top coat. All of these are, you know, um, the measurements are subjective. You know, there's not a specific amount. So that's what the green looks like. Um, oh, I'm gonna be adding a lot more green into it. And then I'm just gonna swatch the yellow. Shake it up really, really, really well. So I'm going to be adding this yellow here. Oh, that is pretty good. Okay, it looks like I have just swatched the polish, but it's not. It's actually a lot sheerer. So I'm just going to add a lot more green into this one. And I'm going to swatch just below it. Oh my god, the noise. So I went ahead and added um, about two drops. And you can see there's a clear difference. Well, the camera isn't picking up that well. This is the original polish and this is the sheer tint. So I'm going to try this now. Oh, it's still there's the sheer. Maybe I don't have enough polish. Okay, so there. That looks really patchy on screen, but trust me, it's the intensity that I want. So here I have um, green sheer tint. Here I have blue. Here I have purple. And then I have a yellow one. So I also have a red one. I have the direct sheer tint. I have the clean color um, red sheer tint. You can use these for lead lighting, you can use this for dry brushing, for a lot of things and I'm so happy um, that I finally got around to doing this and filming this video. So you guys can do this with any color that you want, doesn't necessarily have to be rainbow colors. So I hope you guys liked and enjoyed this video and let me know if you're going to try this and if you do try it then make sure to send me pictures on Instagram or you know Twitter or Facebook or anywhere that you want. And I hope you guys liked it and please subscribe and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.